Hello everyone, this is April and I am going to be walking you through on how to create your developer accounts. Your developer accounts are necessary to create and get a mobile application with Alakazam apps. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make sure you're ready for this overview so you know we could just see if you are uh, ready to go. Now, the first thing that you need to create your developer accounts is a computer. Yes, it has to be a computer. It cannot be a cell phone. It has to be a computer. Now, also, you also need a card. It needs to be a debit card that's in your name. It can't be in someone else's name unless they're the ones that are creating the developer accounts. And that will be under the mobile application, the name. So you want to make sure you're using your card and you want this information, you want this card because it's going to be charged $99 to Apple, straight to Apple, payment to Apple, and a $25 payment to Google. The Google one is a one-time payment and then Apple is $99 a year. Um, yeah, I don't know why Apple um, charges so much. I don't even know why I have an Apple phone. So, um, but let's continue. If you have both of those steps, then we are ready to go. So here we go. Um, I'm going to put my first and my last name. And then I'm also going to put in the username. Now your username, you want to get a piece of paper. You want to write all this information down um, because you're going to have to send an email to us to have your app processed. We need to have all this information. And I just wanted to say one more thing, a uh, quick thing before we get started. You do not want to go back into these accounts. It's very, very important. I want to, you know, spend just a second uh, talking about this because if you happen to go back into any of the accounts that we create today, your mobile application cannot be processed because it goes through a, a few steps. Now, if you want to know in detail about those steps, you can call the main office, but just in a nutshell, you know, it goes through a few people. Uh, it goes through submission. If there's multiple people logged in at the same account, it's going to flag the account. So, you know, just don't go back and see this, these accounts after we create them. And so your app can get submitted to the app stores. Now, we're going to say my company name, let's, let's say my app name is... Um, uh, love beauty. Okay. Let's just say that's my company name. Your name is going to be obviously different. And my name is love beauty. Now that's what you're going to add as your username. It's going to be love beauty app. So just depending on what your your company name is and if you don't have one it's okay you just want to use you know your first name and your last name and then put app at the end of it and when I say app it's a p p so my company name just just um, doing this for overview purposes is love beauty so I'm gonna put in here love beauty app. So that's that's the same thing you're going to have. You're going to have something app. Now you want your password to be simple. So it's you want the first letter to be capital of every password. I'm writing all this information down so you want to do the same. So mine is going to be you want to have at least five letters. And one number and then an exclamation mark. So you're gonna have all that, see it's strong. So that's exactly what you want. You want your password to be strong. But just having a capital, some lowercase and a few numbers, that would be good. Okay, you wanna put your actual birthday Your gender, 
and you want to put your mobile phone. You do not want to put a current email address. The developers will not be able to go into your account if there's something wrong with your app without this. Um, it's very important that you don't put a email in there. I agree. And then it's going to say your name, uh, your new email address, lovebeautyapp at gmail.com. Okay, so you continue to Gmail. Okay, there's going to be a little pop-up. You're going to X out of that. And you're going to go to the settings. You want to click settings. In that settings box, it'll be a drop-down box. You click settings. And then you want to click forwarding and POP. Add forwarding address. You want to put M-S-L-A-I-L-A-M-O-R-R-I-S -L -L -I -I at gmail.com. Click next. Proceed. Okay. Now it's going to show you that. Okay. Now that's good that you sent that on. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the main inbox and then you want to go to the Apple developer. Now you want to click account. And you cannot use any of your old accounts. So you want to create a new Apple ID because this is just for your mobile application. So it's very important that you put the correct information in there. Now this is someone's actual information. So um, their actual developer account. So I'm just going to, you know, put information in here. You're going to put your first and last name. You're going to put your actual birthday. You're going to put the email that you just created. I just created love beauty app at gmail.com. And I'm going to put the same password that I created for, you don't want to make it confusing guys. Um, you just want to put the same password that you put in for, to create the Gmail. You want it all to be the same. Now, this is something you're going to write down. I'm going to tell you the questions and the answers. I don't know what I did here. They have to match, of course. I'm going to tell you the question. The first question is going to be, what's the name of your first pet? So you're going to write down pet, question mark. And then you're going to, every answer, the first letter has to be capital. So my pet name is going to be, that's going to be my pet name. And you want your pet name to be the first letter capital, everything else lowercase. But you're writing down this information because you're going to have to give it to us so we can process your app. This is very important that you do not forget this information. It's going to be like a lot of um, hassle. So we're just going to write this car. I'm going to write down the word car and then I'm putting Honda. And then my third question is going to be what's the name of your favorite sport? It's going to be baseball. And you see all of the answers that I'm putting down are the first letter is capital, everything else is lowercase. So you want to make sure, you know, you enter that information correctly. Now for, that's all. Now you're going to uncheck announcements, uncheck Apple Music, and uncheck Apple News. You don't want to have any of those checked. You're going to put in this code that you see, that you see, and then you're going to click continue. Okay, so after you finish putting in that, you're going to say, okay, verify your email address. Now, we just got an email from Apple. 
I'm going to write this down, 582037, and then we're going to enter it in here, 582037. Okay, continue. Perfect. Now you're going to have to sign in with the new information that you just created, which was the email that you just created and then the, the new password. Sign in. Now you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and then you're gonna check the box where it says I've agreed and then you want to uncheck the box where it says, I'd like to receive marketing emails. Nobody likes marketing emails, so we're just going to uncheck that box. And then click Submit. Okay, it'll say Getting Started. You want to click Join the Apple Developer Program. Then you want to click Enroll to the top right. And then you want to scroll all the way down where it says Start Your Enrollment then you want to click your entity type is a individual and then you're going to see that pop up but you don't have to worry about that you're going to click continue and then your country code is one because you live in the united states and then you want to put your number in there and then you want to put your address. Now, this address is very important because anything you put in here, it has to be the same information you put when you're processing your card. So you want to put your billing address to your card, even though that's not where you might live at the moment. So it doesn't matter. All you have to do is put the correct billing address associated with your card. Now I'm telling you, if you put the wrong information in, it's not going to process. So I'm just reiterating. Put the address to your card. And if you don't know the address to your card, find out before you put it in there because you're going to have to do this all over again. So um, let's just get it started. Now this address is someone's information. So you're going to put your address, the city, um, the state and then you're gonna click you're gonna go all the way to the bottom and you're gonna check the box down here after you finish putting your continue after you put in all the information you want to click continue and then the next screen is gonna show you all the information you just input and then you want to click now what you want to do is you want to make sure your address is in the spot where it says because it just made me do this information over again it just made me uh, put in the, the first line. The first line you see, you're going to put your address. It'll say second address or optional. It'll just say optional next to that one. You don't want to fill that one in because that's if you have a second address. Putting all the information and in, looking over it, making sure it was correct. You're going to check the box where it says by checking this box. I click to purchase and then you want to click purchase. It's going to sign you out and you're going to have to sign back in. So It'll tell me to sign back in. I'm going to put my password in again. Click sign in. And then you want to... You don't have to put anything for your company name. You just have to put something for your street in. And then you're going to fill out the zip code, and then you want to click uh, debit or credit card. And then after you finish putting your debit card in, you're going to click continue. Now, I'm going to tell you how you make sure it populates this. Thank you for your purchase, and that's how you know you completed it complete. Um, now you want to go to developer.apple.com. Go do the steps from the beginning, go to account, and then make sure you're logged out of the account. Just